What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Hamilton's Hangar. I'm Jay. We got Ashley on the camera. How's everybody doing? We are in the house tonight. We got the first video of the Free Wing F22 Super Scale build here. Um, I've done a build on this on my channel before. Uh, I've not documented it. I did a video of it. I'm sure many of you guys have seen that. We flew that on a 12S Schubler. This is also going to be flown on 12S, except we're going to be going kind of a different route. Um, we pretty much have gutted the entire thing. I'm going to be doing all my own servos, connections, things like that. So just make sure you guys subscribe and like this video and stick around for the build series because we're going to be doing many different videos. This first video here, we're going to focus on the formation lights. I got those from stemwings.com. You guys should see a link popping up right there. Um, go ahead and click that if you guys want to check it out. I've also got a uh, dash panel from them, so I'll make sure I do a video on that as well for you guys when we do the uh, opening canopy. So, um... Yeah, there's a lot we're gonna be doing with this jet and I'm not really gonna explain it all in this video, but there should be a bunch of videos coming out here soon. So just make sure you guys stick around. All right, so these are actually really, really nice lights. I'm actually really satisfied with these lights. Um, they're extremely bright. Um, for those of you guys that have put LEDs inside phonies before, one thing to be aware of is bleed through. So I wasn't really kind of anticipating the amount of bleed through that I got the very first time that I ever powered these on a couple days ago. Um, so I went ahead and got some paint, uh, right here, hold on. Alright, got the paint. So this is the paint that I use, just some, uh, $5 paint from the Home Depot. Uh, yeah, just white, and we just wanted to make sure we did a nice little base layer. And then I also got some aluminum tape, which is right here behind you. Yeah. Um, so I got this aluminum tape. So we've only done one thing on that so far. I've only done this um, rudder. So I have not been able to see it yet. So we're going to test that out and see if I need to do another uh, base layer over this. I've only done one coat, so I don't really know how it looks. So I want to, you know, try to do as minimal weight as possible when it comes down to the interior paint, considering that it is awfully heavy. So enough talking about that. We're going to keep moving forward here. Uh, we're going to test out these lights. Um, baby, you want to come check them out real quick? Yeah. Um, what we did. So, I got the rudder. Rudders right there. Nice. And, yeah, as you've seen, these Looks um, good. these did not come braided. Um, but I did braid them up a little bit there. So, but yeah, this is all Looks just for good. the initial good test. Good work. Thanks. We kind of got them running down there. So, Very we got impressive. some hoodie. We're gonna, we got the replacement paint. All that stuff. So... Yeah, and then we got these ones down here in the front. Yeah. Turned out good. So. Looks really good. Yeah, nice little fun project. Yep, completely gutted. This thing is crazy light, guys, whenever it's like completely gutted. I couldn't believe it. So. But yeah, I even taken off the servo horns, all that stuff. So, we got some plans for those. Anyways, yep, yeah, so. Let's test out yeah. these lights real quick and go from there. Boom. Pop that on. Oh, got the flashlight. We'll do that. Just oh, I guess sure I'll stay back here. Yeah, that's right. Boom. So we can see the magic. All right, there we go. What do you think? I think it looks good. It looks really good. All right, I can turn the jet if you want. I was just trying to get up close and see. Oh, okay, look, the bleed through. Oh, there, yeah. All right, look, so look at the comparison. Come back over here. Okay. So if you look. Yeah. So. Yeah. So we need to do another layer. I was just going to say, do you think you, you know, need to do another layer? Yeah, we'll do another layer like and test it out. But I think layers. one, I mean, up there looks to be, like, you know, better. Yeah. So we'll kind of go from there. Okay. But, yeah, so there's a 6S test. We're going to test this on 6S and 3S, guys. Uh, so, yeah, they look amazing. I yeah. love lights so much. So, Stem Wings, if you guys are watching this video, thank you so much. You know, I appreciate it. I bought these. They were not sending me. Everything that I'm doing to this jet, guys, is all my own money, just so you guys are aware. And I know that none of this stuff has to be done to this jet like that. So, you know, this is all my personal own doing. Um, you know, as you've known, I've, I've flown this jet stock before, and... Yeah, no problems there, you know, but I'm just trying to build a super scale bird. So, I'm going to unplug this, and we're going to go ahead and do a 3S test now. Okay. So, just to show you guys, 
Just to show you guys that 6S works just as well as 3S because they require 12 volts to um, be powered on. So, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a 6S plug that goes in. It's just more convenient whenever you're flying with a 6S battery and all you gotta do is mm. plug into your lead. You know, they also sell an afterburner, which we chose not to go with for various reasons, which we'll disclose later on. But, uh, yeah, not anything against theirs or nothing like that. We're just wanna do some on our own personal thing here. So, yeah. Let's do the 3S test. You need the flashlight on? Or? No. Okay, sorry. Oh. Still great, wow. Yep, so just so you guys can see, um, you know, they're just the same. It's the same amount of power there, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. I just love looking at them. I do too. I've got them a couple times, so. Yeah, you wanna cut the light back on? All right, phone one. I don't know if it'll be too visible during the day or not, you know what I mean? But who doesn't like, like a nice I think dark flight? Will. I mean, even in like a cloudy day, you know what I mean? You'll yeah. be able to see them. So yeah, just some bleed through to worry about. That's really the main thing there. But overall, like a super satisfying product for only like 45 bucks. You know what I mean? Like super inexpensive and a super scale additive to the jet. And for all of you guys that don't want to go too crazy with it, you know what I mean? Um, it's really simple with cutting, you know, it's not hard at all, I promise you. Uh, just get a really sharp exacto and just pretty thin, pretty thin through there, you know what I mean? Just kind of take your time is all I really suggest and be patient. Uh, I don't have the most steady hand and I don't have the, the uh, biggest hands either, you know what I mean? So it also does make a difference for people that have larger hands cutting in smaller areas, you know what I mean? I know that is a struggle. So yeah. Oh, one other thing that I want to show you guys here before we're mm -hmm. done, boom, is, so these aren't the only lights that I'm adding to this. I said I was going super scale. I mean, we're going super scale on this one, right? So um, these oh, are yeah. the other lights that I'll be adding. These are going to be the wing lights, the uh, navigation lights, and so wing lights, nav lights, uh, the light for the dash, the green light, which is awesome. And we also have the gear lights. So um like the next video or so we'll be posting that and yeah i plan on doing like one wing i'm probably not gonna do them both in the video it's probably gonna take me a little while you know what i mean so i'm gonna do one wing and yeah i'll do the light i'll do the uh you know make sure i post the gear and stuff like that uh we're gonna be doing some 3d printing on this jet and yeah we're gonna be doing we got intake covers already in the mix right now and exhaust covers so yeah, I mean, I'm really, really excited about this jet. Um, it's really nice to make uh, something come to life that's in your head and a plan, you know what I mean? Just to know that you have the ability to do it, you know? A lot of people, uh, you know, like, oh, can I do this or not? You know what I mean? But just to know that this is one of those jets that has such large, large versatility with it. Um, yeah, just wanna show you guys that. And one other big thing that I want you guys to be aware of is that I took the gear out and I'm going a completely different route with the gear. Um, we're going to be putting some electron gear, uh, retracts in here, which I'm pretty, really excited about. We've already done all the measurements and everything like that. We're going to be building, up, building our own gear pocket right up here in the front. So, yeah. I'll stop talking about it because, you know, I'm obviously excited about it. I want you guys to be excited about it. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Shay. we got Ashley on the camera. And we'll see you guys real soon. Hope you guys have a great night. Peace. See you guys.